Hey, you Gingo Tacos or language freaks out there, uh, Julie here. So uh, today's my second video in English on the channel. Um, I apologize to those who are still uh, studying English and uh, maybe won't be able to understand everything I say. However, uh, I'll try to speak as clear as possible so you can understand me. So, um, actually, uh, this is a topic I talked about in my um, during my last um, live um, broadcast last Sunday, which is, uh, so actually I've been doing uh, live uh, stream streaming uh, every every Sunday. So uh, since I'm in Japan, I usually hear it's 9, 9 a.m., which in Brazil is 9 p.m.-ish. I never start at the same time. But usually I try to start from 9.30 to 10.30, if this make, makes any sense. But uh, come on, I'm Brazilian. I can be all uh, picky about time and uh, being all strict about time. I do that when it's, it's, it's work. But, uh, you know, I'm having fun. So uh, anyway... Uh, so, uh, yeah, but I talked about this Polyglot Conference, which is actually uh, something in which I partook uh, last year. Uh, for you guys who followed, have been cha following the channel for, for some time, you know that uh, I presented last year about uh, dialects. I gave, uh, my, my topic was uh, an overview of uh, Japanese dialects. Unfortunately, it hasn't be been uploaded to the website yet. I hope Richard will do it anytime soon. But anyway, uh, I presented. Actually, I should have presented, but now I'm in the, in the middle of changing jobs and uh, writing my uh, my German course. So uh, I couldn't do it this year. Maybe in, a, in the next one, I'll try to present about a topic that I wanted to present last year, which I'll tell you guys in the future. But anyway, uh, so uh, but I, I felt I had to share this conference with you because it's, I've been partaking. I, I've been, I think I've been quite active and I've been learning a lot. And I'll show you, actually, I, I won a prize, so I'm going to share it with you um, shortly. But anyway, so just uh, before uh, I start talking about what I've been doing, I'd like to share you with you how to partake. So uh, as it says here, so it's uh, it's being held from, uh, it started on the 16th, and you go um, until the, uh, the 25th. Uh, in, in order to participate, you have to register, which you do on the Polyglot Conference uh, web, web page, which is, as you see, you can see on top. So it, it's polyglotconference.com. And from there, um, you go to register. So you can uh, um, sign up. But I, I've heard that some people are having trouble to uh, to register. But anyway, you have to go there and try to find a way to register. Usually you should, ah, here, sign in. You go here. Yeah, they ask you to uh, sign in. If you cannot do that, you have to go to the, you have to send them an email. You have to go to Polyglot Conference, Polyglot Conference um, at um, gmail.com. I think that's the address. So you have to uh, contact them so you can uh, register. And once you do that, um, you get to this screen. So which is a basic, uh, yeah, should I say entrance port? So it's an entrance to the, the conference. And uh, there's several uh, items here. Um, I think the most important is the Saturn Theater because uh, all the presentations are here, so we can uh, just choose uh, whatever you want to watch. And I'll show you um, because, uh, as you can see here on the right, I um, I open a lot of tabs uh, which show the, the presentations I'm interested in. But basically, uh, what I've been yeah what I've been using the most is this area here, Saturn Theater. Also, I've been using this uh, Moon Cafe because uh, I've been entering here every day and uh, spending like four or five, six hours talking to people. You can see a lot of interesting people. You can sit there and talk, you know, for hours. And then another place where you can just uh, enter to hang out and talk is here, the Venus Room. Um, the other place I've been using a lot. Actually, I, I haven't used this um, areas here. So Mars School. Actually, I tried to go there, but whenever I went there, I couldn't find anyone. Then the fun in the sun that I haven't used yet. Sponsors um, is what you use to know the what they they offering as prizes, and I'll show you what I what I, I won. And Jupiter partners, they just uh, there's only some presentation. I mean, uh, they just introducing some um, language methods, so it's, it's I think it's a good reference. They talk about uh, Michelle Thomas and uh, Asamil, so uh, those types of uh, materials that uh, you can use to your um, language learning. 
But um, another place I've been using is the, is the Earth Exchange. So you go there, and um, the interesting thing is that uh, um, it's a place where you can go and, and um, practice your languages. And as, if, as you can see here, it's divided into languages. Of course, I'm not going to practice English. French, I went one time, which was very cool because when I got there, there's a dude from China. And uh, I don't know why we're talking about the Finnish language in French. That was crazy. So uh, Spanish, nah, I haven't been there. But uh, uh, in the uh, classroom I showed you before, the, the Venus room, I met some people from Mexico. Arabic, uh, I don't have a level of, uh, I mean, conversational level of, of Arabic to use it. Mandarin is interesting because yesterday, actually, um, I went out to try some astrophotography. And I was doing some, um, trying to do some... Uh, um, what you might call it? It's a man. What's the thing that you, you do? Some uh, lots of pictures to make a kind of a video. Uh, time lapse. I was trying to do some time lapse, and I had nothing to do, so I entered there, and I found a girl uh, from England who descends on Nepalese, who speaks Chinese, and then she said she speaks Korean. I said, "Yeah, hey, let's practice." So I spoke Korean and Chinese. It was very cool. Slavic. I don't have not enough knowledge to use. My Polish is very very basic. Romance, no, I didn't go there, but I, I had uh, some chance to practice French, as I said before, I went here. Um, also, uh, in the main channel, the, the Venus Room, I practiced some some Italian too. Germanic, I tried because uh, I want to practice Dutch, but I couldn't. Indo-Iranian, unfortunately, I don't know any Indian language, or I, I, so I don't know uh, uh, Persian. Multilingual, I've been here a couple times to practice, yeah. I think it was yesterday, I, I, I entered the channel, there's some people talking in Indonesian, which I couldn't understand, but I, I went there and introduced myself, like, Namasaya Julio, Nama Uram Brasil, so uh, I'm, I'm Julio, I'm Brazilian, and that's it, that's my Indonesian. But uh, they're very nice, uh, they switched to English to uh, accommodate me, and then uh, I, some people came, came to the channel after, and we spoke, uh, man, I think we spoke French, um, Spanish, some Chinese, so it's very interesting. But that's the, the, the main, the, the main place, these are the main place I've been using, so the, the, the Venus room for general conversation, and, uh, and I met a lot of interesting people, uh, YouTubers and uh, people who have podcasts, it's very cool. Then from here, oh yeah, this, the main, this is the main area. Yeah, so here's uh, the talks you can choose from. But... Let me tell you, so yeah, this is the main main room. But what I've been doing, so let's show you what I'm interested in at the moment. So uh, this one about uh, why I should learn um, uh, Mexican uh, Spanish. Actually, I'm doing it. Uh, because when I, I, I choose to learn a language, I want to choose a version that is most used, or at least the version I'm interested in. Uh, for instance, so English, even though it's, it's not perfect, I try to... Uh, imitate American accent, even though it's a mess, but uh, that's uh, maybe the accent I had most um, like uh, access to, uh, more uh, contact with. Then uh, Spanish, I like um, uh, Mexican Spanish. German, unfortunately, I, I didn't have the chance to, I never been to Europe, so uh, I never heard, heard. I mean, we really never had a nigh, um, everyday uh, interaction with natives, but uh, if I could, I'd like to learn maybe British accent, so Southern German accent. But moving on, so what? This is the first one I want to watch. Then, but actually, it, it came up today. Uh, it's a new uh, presentation. And uh, this one about uh, modern art and in, in language. Tang, uh, tang, tang, tai, tang, tai, yu, shu, yu, yu, yen. I'm going to listen to this also so I can uh, practice Chinese because I never use it. Then, um, this is a presentation in German so uh, I can practice my listener because uh, I never use German. So it's a good opportunity to listen to German. Then, um, this is a cool part about this conference. So you have the chance to listen to languages that usually you wouldn't listen. So it's an introduction to Igbo. And to you guys who don't know what, what language that is, um, it's a language spoken in Nigeria. It says here, so Southeastern Nigeria. Because Africa is a very interesting and uh, diverse place. And uh, what, it's interesting because when you talk to people, they first talk about their people, the tribe, and then the, they talk about, uh, they, they say that they're from that country. So when you talk to uh, people from Nigeria, they're going to say they are, they're Yoruba, which is very, um, it's something very close to us because 
uh, most I think all, all Brazilians have some uh, have a Nigerian ancestry. So um, yeah, so one of the languages in, in in Nigeria is Yoruba, and another one is Igbo. So I, definitely, I, I'm gonna listen to that talk. Then uh, Burmese, so language spoken Burma. 40 million people. So that's another pointer for me to learn language, the number of speakers. And uh, then uh, Swahili. Swahili is, is a, it's an old passion of mine. Um, I studied Swahili back in 95 when uh, I first came, uh, second time I came to Japan and got some books. And uh, I studied, but I forgot. So I got to study Swahili again. And maybe it's going to be my first, my interest pour to uh, African languages. Then Welsh. So uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to listen to that. So I, I have a, an interest in, in Celtic languages. But actually, I started studying some um, Irish, and I want to study it again. Then Srinang Tongo. It's about a very cute guy I met last year, Kevin. He's the man in languages. He's kind of a our shifu or master. I, uh, um, actually, I, I, I was in his uh, presentation last year. He presented about the Turkic languages. So he talked about... Uh, I got in the mail here, but just ignore it. Um, so he talked about uh, the, the languages related to Turkish, such as uh, Kazakh, Kazakh language, in some languages uh, in in, um, in in Asia. So it's very good. And uh, the other one I want to watch is uh, I met this guy last year. I greeted him at the conference. Uh, Brian, very cool guy, um, very knowledgeable. Speaks a lot of languages. Uh, just before I talk about uh, the French room, he was there also talking in French. Very cool guy. So I, I want to see this. So. Uh, See, if, if Indonesian, Malay people can understand Polynesian language, it's very cool. And uh, so Aramaic, uh, especially because I've studied some Hebrew, so this, to me that's very interesting. In some parts of the Bible were also written in Aramaic, so to me Aramaic is a very special language. And then uh, this one is about languages and uh, like programming, uh, so relationship between languages and programming. I think it's very good. Also, it's going to be an opportunity to listen to uh, uh, Spanish. And last but not least, so uh, this is also um, a presentation of someone I know personally, but but interest, interestingly, he was in my pre in my presentation last year in uh, in Fukuoka, but didn't talk to him. But uh, I met him here uh, at the uh, I mean the, the online polyglot conference. Talked to him a lot of time. Very cool guy. He speaks uh, uh, Indonesian languages. Very cool guy. So uh, basically, that's what I'm gonna do. So. Uh, and uh, if you haven't um, um, registered, I, I really urge you to do that because there's a lot to learn, not only uh, um, get, uh, acquiring new knowledge, but meeting new people. So uh, from here, it happens something very cool that I'm going to be sharing in other videos. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I got a prize. So uh, if you go here, um, actually, there's some um, some goodies here. So uh, um, so if you go to the Polyglot Conference and watch the videos and... and um, comment on the videos that you watched, you have the chance to get a uh, $20 in italki credits. And you know what? <laughs> I won. So uh, I watched a couple of presentations and uh, um, I made a comment. So uh, yeah, so run one is, uh, so run one, someone won, run two, and run three is here. I'm here, Julio. Yay. So uh, I watched a presentation about uh, from uh, um, Yukio, which is a, a a very nice person I met uh, at the conference, and she was in, uh, during in my uh, presentation. So she she uh, has a talk about uh, Japanese people learning um, English or European languages. Languages, and the, uh, this is also useful if you're like me, so uh, come from a Indo-European language or European language to learn Japanese. Very good. And uh, this talk is also available in English, but I prefer, of course, to watch in Japanese. Very good presentation. So basically, that's it. So you can go to the uh, Polyglot Conference, uh, hook up with a lot of uh, interesting people, practice your languages, and if you're lucky, you can get some uh, uh, credits to study languages. Um, basically, that's it. So uh, yeah, I'm having fun. Um, right now, I think you're gonna study and then go to some room um, in the conference and talk to people. And uh, if you sign in, maybe you can talk to me there because um, maybe I'm, I'm the most active person there and uh, interesting because uh, I thought it was crazy, but uh, when you go there, you realize you're normal there. Uh, I mean, here in the conference, you're normal. It doesn't matter if you speak two languages, three, people don't care. People just want to hang out and learn. And uh, yeah, that's the cool thing about language. So uh, 
definitely. If you haven't signed up yet, please go there so we can meet. Yeah. So we can meet and talk. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, don't forget to share the video. Uh, don't don't let you don't forget to let your like in the video. And uh, if you're learning Japanese, uh, please buy my course, uh, Japanese course Gengo Talk. Unfortunately, it's not in English yet, but hopefully in the future I want to put it in English. I'm also writing my German course. So, so if, you, if you want to learn German, just hold on a, a moment because you can learn with me. And uh, if you want to support the channel, um, I have an account on um, uh, PayPal and uh, um, Patreon. And on Patreon, I've been showing how I've been studying. So. Uh, all my, my notes and uh, my observations about my learning are there. And my account is Gingo Taku. I'm also on Twitter with the account uh, Aulas Japanese, so Japanese lessons. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you can also be a member. And basically, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next